Welcome back to URM Academy. If you are a rock or metal producer, this is your home on YouTube. In this clip, this is from last month's Nail the Mix session, we had Russ Russell on to mix At The Gates and The Haunted, awesome Swedish death metal double header. And in this clip, he's tackling overheads. And what I think is worth highlighting here is really that it's all about subtlety. You'll see this with a lot of the top mixers. They make a lot of these really subtle moves that on their own maybe don't do a lot, but in aggregate, they add up to something that makes a huge difference. It's, uh, these great mixes are oftentimes the product of just tons and tons and tons of tiny little decisions. And I think when you see how he approaches the overheads, this is a perfect example of that approach. I'm gonna have a look at these overheads for a second. There's a lot of stuff in it that I like, but there's some stuff I don't. So uh, let's have a little look at this. Uh... Before I dive into that, I'm going to have a show you this plugin. I'm sure a lot of you have got this. It's really good. Um, where is it? I can't remember who makes it. Uh, who makes Soothe? Oak Sound. Huh? Oak Sound. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Sorry. That is. Yeah. Found it a little weird, as in, you know, everybody's familiar with this being like an EQ curve, so you would think pushing it up would make it more, but it's kind of the opposite way around, if you know what I mean. does. Very clever. Clever people. Clever people making clever products, much like yourself. <laughs> that they're pretty disappointed with how their kick turned out now that they watched this. Yeah, we didn't need a lot, really. I think, I mean, like like you said, it's a bunch of little things. It's a bunch of little things. You're not overcooking it. You got the balance right between the three kicks, four kicks, and uh, yeah, a bunch of little moves that are the right moves. Yeah, we won't know until we get the rest of it in whether they were all the right moves or whether we need to tweak them a bit more or a bit less. But, you know, as a, as a starting point, I think we're, we're doing okay. And this, uh, like I was saying before, this trash room, I mean, that really is salt and pepper to taste, but I think we need a bit of it in there for the aggression. Probably needs a little bit of this soothing as well. It really is nasty. I like it. 
like nasty. <laughs> Said, I Aaron feel like, three. Someone just said, I feel like everyone and their pet got soothed now. I get it, though. It's sick. And my answer is, yes, lots of people have bought Soothe because it's a great plug-in. But Soothe on its own is not going to make you a great mixer. It's just the plug-in. It's just a tool. And I have actually heard lots of people use it very badly. <laughs> You're watching people on Nail the Mix use it well. But uh, I hear the mixes that come in. So I know that Soothe, just as a, a plug-in, is neutral. It's a plug-in. It's a tool. Yeah. I, I know a lot of people use it on guitars, don't they? I haven't really tried that yet. I might give it a go in a bit, see what yeah, happens. Maybe. Just to warn you gentlemen, I'm going to have a little blast a bit louder. added a little bit more punch to the kick bus. What, what did you do with the Pultec? Uh, a little bit of 4K. It might, awesome. go, it might go to 5, but I, I try not to... Uh, like I know I'm going to do a tickle of 5 on the snare, mm -hmm. so I try not to do it on the kick. Got it. So they're not boosted in the same place. Sometimes that's a fruitless wish and it just works. You know, so no hard and fast rules about that. But I, I do try and differentiate between the, the smack of the kick and the smack of the snare because you hear a lot of records where you can't really tell the difference. You know what's interesting too here is that uh, lots of people will boost the high end of the snare to get the click around seven or eight, um, which, you know, can work, but that's kind of where the typewriter sound comes from. Uh, boosting it at around four less so and i think that that's part of what is probably helping this sound a little more natural hmm yeah i could be wrong don't listen to anything i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> i am gonna try a little bit of five on the snare too Something a little bit weird going on with the snare. It might be that uh, 
spilling the kick. But let's not worry too much about it yet. Well, there you go. Hopefully you learned a thing or two about overheads, about how to keep the stuff you like and get rid of the yucky stuff you don't like without just completely destroying the character of your overheads. And if you liked this one and want to get your hands on the rest of the live streaming video session and the multi-tracks for this song, as well as the multi-tracks for the Haunted song, there's a link to that in the description. Click on that, you will get instant access, and I will see you next time.